few days ago, I released a guide to dating the Yusan Nation's metallic level units. This dating replicas 101 guide was so well received that I, the self-proclaimed Yusan matchmaking expert, shall now release a second guide to help all you single comrades looking to find the pair of your dreams. So, with no more delay, here is Dating Gestalt's 101. <laughs> So let's start off with the knife wielding, adler stabbing, badass that is Issa. Pros, and there are a lot of them. Issa can certainly defend, not just herself, but you as well. Sporting knowledge of how to use a knife quite well, as well as basic knowledge of a rifle that you can expand on should you choose an adorable date to the firing range so she can learn how to not be knocked out by her own weapon. Issa also is quite caring and sociable these days, shown by her ease of befriending Elster and her deep care that she holds for her sister. This Gestalt is a caring but strong shoulder to lean on, and honestly, that is a solid choice. I can't blame you for choosing. However, there are some minor issues. One, Issa is quite hyper fixated on her sister. You're going to find yourself hard pressed to pull her focus off her twin and onto yourself. So, good luck. Next, Issa has a lot of guilt regarding her past. Everyone has baggage, but this Gestalt got quite a lot. You're going to have to help her deal with this rocky past, and need to be a strong shoulder for her should she need it. Overall, Issa will be able to hold you up when you need it, and in exchange you must return the favor when she needs you. So honestly, just a pretty healthy relationship. From here, we have the main gestalt. We all love, and Elster loves, Ariane. This art love and white haired shy gestalt is known for her beautiful paintings, her bioresonance, and being bullied. Let's start with bros. She's a great artist, able to bring her imagination to life upon the canvas to such a degree that it might feel like it's real. Next, she got that bioresonance, which will help her distort reality and make you and her life better to the best of her abilities, which I should know are quite strong and various. Finally, she's a loner, so she's probably a gamer. While I'm not too sure what exact game she would play, I wouldn't be surprised if she was a huge Minecraft fan or Terraria or Stardew Valley probably even pays extra for a Minecraft realm that I'm like 100% sure Adler totally cheats on with that extra texture pack in order to impress Falk. Side comment aside, let's just get to the negatives. 1. She is very easy to pick on and has lots of enemies, ranging from literally every other student in Rotfront who thinks she's a nerd, the state who thought she was useless, or the spy who knows her secrets. You will need to be a strong metallic being that is able to fight off all of her past demons. Issue number 2. She may or may not already have a strong metallic being that is able to fight off all of her demons. That being's name is Elster, and uh, she is unlikely to let you just steal her babe. So be prepared for a battle of steel against this soldier who has killed, quite literally, the Yusan equivalent of God. A battle I I'm, I'm hope you're aware you're probably going to lose, so just pray that the radiation has already gotten to her. Issue 3. Um, finally, you may have to understand that she may have blasted herself deep into space with that aforementioned lover you're going to have to kill, so she, she is quite far from you. Overall, she's a cool person to try and use your charisma on, but that charisma check better be supported by a hella high level of luck, else you will end up as past tense as the original Elster 512 is. Next up is Elena. Think basically the same as Arion, but also like really different. Elena is a soldier, a veteran, and seems to have lots of friends, all things Arion could only dream of having be true. So the bros, Elena is badass and able to fight Imperial soldiers like it's an average Friday afternoon event, meaning she'll be able to protect you and be the dominant force in that relationship. Elena has a whole host of war friends who she'll likely want to hang out with, giving you the chance to meet the veterans of the Venetian War and their families, who are certain to be an interesting cast. Elena is also uh, quite caring, as in the notes that she writes, she displays her love she has for her lover, being relentless in searching for them. So if you can win her heart over, you will have a badass soldier that can physically fight for you when you need her to. From Elena, we need to head to the past. The goddamn Grand Empress. Think the Emperor of Man? But it's a woman and all her custodies are two meter tall folks. So awesome. This badass Empress destroyed the nations of old and united the entirety of Earth into the new Yusan Empire. From here, she expanded humanity's grasp into the skies using her creations of the replicas that give birth to a space age for a unified human state. Pros. She's probably hella tall and has insane bioresonance powers. She can give you anything you want when this combines with the power she has as the head of state. She will also likely raise you to a high rank within her empire, 
giving you a life of pure opulence. Uh, downsides. The Empress is not a huge fan of marriage, um, so don't be deceived into marrying her, else everything will come toppling down for you. The Empress is also uh, the, the Empress. She's in charge and will always be in charge in your dynamic. You are a servant to her even if you love each other. Also, you have a serious competitor to keep your eyes out for, as the King in Yellow also seeks her distortion to bring himself into reality. Prevent this by keeping your bay away from any weird-looking books. I mean, honestly, that should just be a rule of thumb in the Signalis universe. Don't open weird-looking books. Next up, we got Nikolai. I bring him up despite limited information, because we need some men for those who are into that. Nikolai is a million times better than Adler, so you no longer have to settle for quite literal trash. He's a writer, but bar that we know literally nothing about him. Um, perhaps that's a, a, for the best, because honestly, having a cool writer? Dope. Amazing. As long as he's not Adler. Uh, to finish this off, we have the twin sister of Issa, Erica. This crystal is also pretty mysterious, uh, but she's the twin sister of Issa, so you already know what she looks like. She's also pretty bold, willing to fight with other students to protect her friends. In my view, I see her as a more bold and strong Issa, so if, if that's what you wanted, here you go. Somewhat normal relationship. Uh, now, now, originally I intended to stop here, um, but my home server, VSL, was yelling at me that I missed somebody in my replica dating guide. I didn't think I did, but apparently, apparently it's now my burden to mention the pros and cons of dating the in Chimera, uh, since apparently that is a question y'all need answered. Uh, pros, okay, why am I even considering this? It, it, it may have lots of arms and legs, I, I guess? Uh, this is really stupid, but it, it also has lots of HP, so it can handle lots of powerful attacks. Alright, wait, wait, that sounds wrong. But I, I don't know how to take that. I don't know how to properly word that. But just understand, I didn't mean it in that way. Um, so cons, cons. It's a it's fucking hell spawn. It's a demon. This isn't a viable dating object. It will eat you or beat you to death, or both, one after the other. Do not date the chimera. D use your brain. Overall, uh, date whoever you want. Uh, I'm just giving advice to who I think I you know what they'd all be like, as as the lore guy. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe and help the channel out. And if you'd like to talk to me or other Signalis fans about the game, theories, lore, or even mods, I've linked to my Discord VSL below. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.